Hello and welcome back. We're now going to see how list variants are customized in SAP. The settings will apply to all users who have not created their own user-specific variant. The customizing path is SPRO, IMG, Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, master data in plant maintenance and customer service and then to technical objects for this illustration i'm going to use the customizing path for functional locations and you can use the same process for other technical objects such as equipment so we go ahead and open functional locations and what we are interested in is to set list editing for functional locations so we go ahead and open that and then we go to screen list display mode then to variant attributes and here we have the selection screen and we have potential selection fields we have protect field we have save field we have required field so you can go ahead and fill up uh, make the selections that you would find relevant to your application that is based on the field name so that is whether you want your field name to be protected field whether you want it to be a hidden field or a required field and so on so we're going to give that a name we're going to give it a description and we go ahead and save so the next thing we need to do is to go to maintain field selection list we are going to execute that and then we go to the current layout and we have the first tab that is that is selected here the display columns this is the columns that you want to be displayed we have the sort order the criteria of your sort order we have the filter uh, what filter is to be used and then you have the view uh, you could either have the SAP list viewer or Microsoft Excel and finally we have the display uh, and you have about a few selections here so you could have a display without column headings display without horizontal grid lines and so on and so forth so that is how we customize list variants in, an, in the next video we are going to look at multi-level variants and we are going to see how that is customized in SAP. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.